This is the Verbose Amplitude and Tone Controller. It combines VCA and VCF in one package. The VCA is based on the old ARP 2600 design that has separate exponential and linear control voltage inputs, and Verbose has an inverting attenuator on both of those inputs. That exponential input is normaled over to the VCF, which is a two-pole design, diode limiting on the resonance, and with factorals on the cutoff frequency. Everything uses discrete components, matched FET transistors, discrete op amps, no integrated circuits. So if you're looking for that so-called vintage sound with nice rounded saturation and somewhere between a low and a mid-range croak sound to it, then you should start here. However, it's very easy to underestimate this module. It has very plain graphics, a very unassuming name. Indeed, if you set the input control to the 12 o'clock that the manual recommends, have a mild cutoff, feed it a sawtooth wave, coming from my mother is the green waveform here and the green patch cable. Yellow is going to be my output. It has a fairly normal two-pole sound. I have an attack, sustain, decay from the Mother 32 driving the amplifier, my normal ADSR from the Roland 540 driving the filter cutoff. A little bit of resonance. A little faster. Okay, nice tuple filter, unassuming VCA. What's all the fuss about? you need to really start playing around with the input gain, which is magic on many verbose modules, and how that interacts with the resonance control. I'm going to turn up the initial gain or amplitude in the VCA so we can hear what we're doing. There's our sawtooth wave. I'm going to turn the cutoff up so initially the filter is out of the way. And then let's start playing with that input gain control. It has a lot of gain to it, to the point where it'll start flattening out the tops and bottoms of the waveform at around plus or minus 8 volts. When you really push it, it adds that square wave heft or low end to the sound. So that right there gives you a nice range of tones. Then comes resonance. It interacts with the input gain. Now initially when you turn up resonance, I'm going to turn down the filter so this resonating in a frequency you can actually hear. See just a slight bump there. As I increase the resonance, go to a little higher note. So you can see more detail what's going on. Those resonance humps are initially excited by the upper jump in the sawtooth and then kind of taper off. When you overcrank resonance to the point where it starts going to self oscillation, you'll notice that those oscillations actually build along the life of the sawtooth waveform. You see, it's actually getting louder during the sawtooth until it gets reset by the next rising edge of the sawtooth. And if I turn the input gain down, you hear we actually have a self-oscillating filter at this point. I'll turn up the input gain enough to where the oscillations sync with a harmonic in the sawtooth wave. And then as I push the input gain even further, it will start to suppress some of those resonant humps. It just gets louder, starts clipping at the plus or minus 8 volts. But now notice how those humps are dying out along the length of the sawtooth ramp. to the point now where we've tuned it and it's no longer self-oscillation. You can keep cranking up resonance and then offsetting it with gain to kind of pull this filter back into a tamed on the edge sort of madness. Now if you pull the input gain down too far, it'll just break an oscillation. But if you crank up the gain enough to cancel out some of the oscillation, you can dial in a tone that you like and just get that mad overdriven sound. Now my envelope is driving the cutoff up so high that the resonance doesn't come in audibility until later in the envelope. I can reduce the cutoff or reduce the envelope amount. Overdriven, but not to the point of being stupid. You know, it's not breaking up. It's just a nice saturated sound. Pull back a resonance. Until it's tame. 
pull back an input gain, and balance the two against each other. Now we're back to our tame two-pole filter, until again we crank things up. <laughs> 